Festival, which is tomorrow and expected to draw thousands to the North Shore this weekend. This is the first event at Coolidge Park that will require a ticket for admission. Caitlin Chastain joins us live now to explain what you need to know if you plan to be in that area tomorrow. Caitlin. Well, Cindy, first and foremost, like what you just said, it's the first event that requires a ticket. So if you actually want into Coolidge Park, you have to have one of those tickets and they're already sold out. We'll give you a look at what's happening now, though. In the meantime, you can see they're putting the final touches on many of the stages. We were here watching banners drop just a few minutes ago. The final touches going on the Moon River Festival, both on this side of the Walnut Street Bridge and the other. It's taking up the entire area of Coolidge Park. Now, this is a gated and ticketed event. So in order to get in, you have to have a ticket and tickets did sell out. So we're expecting nearly 10,000 people to be down in Coolidge Park tomorrow for this festival. And of course, many others are expected to be walking around the area in, as well throughout the weekend. So if you're coming down in the area, that's something you're definitely going to want to keep in mind, whether you're walking or driving. There will be a lot of people and a lot of traffic. And of course, we'll be out here throughout the rest of the evening and throughout the weekend giving you guys updates as well. Right now, I'm live from the Walnut Street Bridge. Caitlin Chastain, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, we're seeing it look nice and quiet now.